Hey, welcome back to This and That. We are now joined by Jenny Mann, who's here on behalf of the 29th annual Eider Mule Day in beautiful Eider, Alabama. 29 years we've been doing this. I want to ask you right off the bat, 29 years, this mm -hmm. thing has exploded and it's grown. And it's become it uh, quite large. What all has changed over the nearly 30 years of doing this festival? <laughs> You've been there for every 30, well, all 30 of them, uh, right? Actually, I have. Started I clogged when you were just at baby. the very first one. Did you really? Yes, I did. Oh, all of like I'm one year old? <laughs> no, not quite. Okay. But, um, Yes, it has grown into this big, this big fundraiser that we do. Thousands of people come from all around hmm. to come to Mule Day. All right, so the first couple of things that we're talking about here, uh, obviously Mule Day. So we've got mules in this. We have draft <laughs> horse, mule pool, show, trail competition. So we're throwing this to the horses, throwing this to the mules. And if folks have never seen some of these particular competitions, talk to us about them. Oh, the mule pool. I, I didn't understand what it was until you until you see it. They they take these teams of mules. They're trained for this this kind of thing. They um you can see on the yeah, screen. Yeah, we got there. some pictures. Yeah, going. you can see it on the screen. They they stack up these blocks and they see who can pull the most weight. And um, you know. Hey, they're powerful. They, they work are hard. extremely powerful. The trail competition. <clears throat> you were explaining this to me just before we started yeah. here. This sounds fun. <laughs> the the wagons. Um, they set up an obstacle course. They have to drive the wagons through the obstacle course and you know make good time <laughs> and not not don't knock anything over. You know. It's, it's neat to watch. Can imagine what are some of the obstacles they're trying to go through? Is like little barrels. It, it and may be it may be cones here and there. It may be you know just trying to keep your mule or your horse. To, not distracted. Is rubbing is racing still qualified for this as well? The what? The rubbing is racing like they do in NASCAR? <laughs> no. No, okay. No, All, right. No. All right, so not only do we have that, we've got the car show, we've got great things that are happening for the kids as well. Talk about maybe some of the things and reasons to bring the kids to this outside of just oh, the, the yeah. mules and the horses. It, it's outside. It's, it's educational. You know, they you can learn something. We have um, all kinds of things for kids, a whole little section set up with just kids stuff to do. And then we have the, the big baseball field is filled with cars for the car show. We have music going on at the pavilion, all kinds of food. We just say it's a good family fun and food day. Now you guys have a parade that's starting at 9.30 a.m., do tell. We do. It starts, um, if you're familiar with Otter, down around the funeral home. I mean, we're as country as it gets up there. But you start at the funeral home for the parade. We travel north on Highway 75. There's um, it's not a political year this year, so you don't have to worry about the politicians. <laughs> take out half the floats. <laughs> yeah. so that's you don't okay. have to worry about the politicians this time. But um, you know, the band marches in it, the all the horses and mules and wagons and that just cracks me up. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so all right, so you mentioned if you know where Eider is, where is Eider, Alabama, and why should someone come visit this beautiful town, especially this time of the year? Oh yeah, well, Eider's just your good little hometown town. Um, beautiful. We have a lot of scenery. We're located in the very northeast corner of the state. Um, kind of that tri-state area. Sure. Um, if you're traveling on Interstate 59 coming up from Fort Payne, we're about 25 miles north of Fort Payne, or we're about 45 minutes south of Chattanooga. And of course, if you can't make it out to this event, which is going to be taking place on Labor Day, it's just two bucks to get in. You can't beat that. And you mentioned it's a fundraiser, too. It is. This is the way that we make our, make our money. All the money that's raised that day goes back to our park. So um, we are, we're very proud of our park and how it's developed over the years, um, we, we try to add something every year. So. so if there's somebody out there that's listening right now that says, hey, I got a mule, I want to be part of this. Oh yeah, come on out. They can bring their mule Load up. Load them up and bring them. Load if you have an up. antique car, you can still enter it in the car show. All right, fair enough as well. And of course, a beautiful location, beautiful place to go. And if you can't make it out there on Labor Day, stop by and visit really at any time because yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful drive. Take the back roads as well. You don't have to take Interstate 59. <laughs> All right, folks, it is the 29th annual Eider Mule Day. They've been doing it for nearly 30 years. So you know something's going on and going on good there in Eider, Alabama. Uh, not too far away from Chattanooga. What's it? 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, maybe about 45. Yeah, 45? Yeah. Give or take traffic. All right. Yeah. Folks, it is <laughs> taking place on Labor Day, September the 7th. Just a couple of bucks to get in. And, of course, children four and under are free. The parade starts at 9.30 a.m. All the events take place at 11 a.m. Come on out. It's going to be a beautiful day. For more information, just call them at 256-657-4184. Again, 256-657-4184.